happy and fantastic day dear children i welcome you all to the english corner children today we are going to learn a small grammar portion active and passive voice right so first learning objectives we are going to learn and to know how active and passive voice forms are formed next to learn how the voice is changed from one form to another form next we are going to know when to use passive voice is it clear dear yes okay so we'll move to the next now what are the concepts in this module introduction next is the active voice next is the passive voice next change of voice verbs with two objects next prepositional verbs auxiliary verbs and when to use passive voice this is what we are going to learn in this module right first example we are playing paintball paintball is being played by us so observe these two sentences both the sentences convey the same meaning isn't it we are playing for paintball paintball is being played by us meaning is not changing but observe the sentences we entertain people people are entertained by us right we entertain people people are entertained by us both are the same voice forms or different voice forms check it out a verb is said to be in active voice when the subject is a doer of the action okay a verb is said to be in passive voice when the subject is a receiver of the action so understand active and passive voice and differentiate a verb is said to be in active voice when the subject is the doer of the action when the subject is doing the action then it is considered as active voice when the subject is receiving the action then it is considered as passive voice right now first action is see the figure the dog chased the cats who is doing the action the dog so it is active voice now the dog chased the cat the subject is doing the action in passive voice the cats were chased by the dog the cats is a subject they are the receiver of the action the cats were chased by the dog the cats were the receiver of the action so here it is passive voice right children i hope you understood the difference we'll see again in detail we focus on the doer of the action when we use the active voice now the recipient of the action or the object becomes the center of attack at attention in the passive voice the recipient of the action or the object becomes the center of attention in the passive voice that will be the difference between active and passive voice now we'll see a uh, one more rules what are the rules for changing from active to passive voice right first rule the object in the active voice becomes the subject in the passive voice the subject in the active voice becomes the object in the passive voice the subjects will get interchanged right that is rule number 1 first is you have to identify what is a subject and what is a object interchange subject and object okay next example for active jenny loves jack so jenny is a subject 
and Jack is the object. Now in passive voice, Jack is loved by Jenny. Jack is the subject, Jenny is the object. So subject and objects are interchanged, right? So second rule, if the subject or the object is a pronoun, it changes in this manner. How it will be changed? I changes to me. We changes to us. You changes to you only. No change in that. He changes to him. She will be changed to her. It will remain the same. They will be changed to them. Once again dear. I to me. We will be changed to us. You and it will remain same. He to him. She to her. They to them. See here one example is given there. She is reading the newspaper. Now interchange the subject and object there. What is the subject? She is the subject. The object is the newspaper. Now the object is going to be the subject in passive voice. The newspaper is being read by her. She changes to her. So observe the changes alone. Right? Next is rule number 3. Change the verbs. That is tenses. We are going to change the tenses. When we are changing from active to passive voice. Right? Rules for simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. What is the rule? First is am, is, are plus past participle form. What is it? Past participle form. Right? Simple past tense was, were plus past participle. Simple future tense shall or will plus be plus past participle tense. So, these are all the what rules that you have to change. When it is simple present tense, am, is, are plus past participle, v3 form. v1 is present tense, v2 is past tense, v3 is past participle tense. Simple present tense, am, is, are and past participle tense. Simple past tense is was and where plus past participle. Simple future tense is shall, will plus be plus past, past participle tense. Right? Right children, I hope you understood this. Next, we will see what is a an example. Okay. Shall we? I watched a movie yesterday. This is what voice dear? Can you guess? Yes, it is an active voice. Passive voice. A movie was watched by me yesterday. See, I is a subject there. I changed to me. Watched is past tense. So, it was changed as was watched. Okay, was and past participle form. A movie is a subject and this, I mean object in active voice, object in active voice. That is changed as a subject in passive voice. Right? So, I watched a movie yesterday was changed to a movie was watched by me yesterday. Right? I will watch a movie tomorrow. This is what tense? Future tense. Right? Active voice. Future tense. I will watch a movie tomorrow. So, I is the subject. I is changed as me. That you can see here. Right? Will watch is a future tense. 
it was changed as will be watched a movie is the object and that was changed as a subject in passive voice i will watch a movie tomorrow a movie will be watched by me tomorrow that is a passive voice right so next is rules that has to be followed for present tense past tense and future continuous tenses okay shall we first is present continuous tense am is are plus being plus past participle form okay what we have to use is auxiliary verb plus being next is past continuous past tense you know was and where plus being plus past participle tense right then future continuous tense has no passive voice right keep in your mind no passive voice for future continuous tense present continuous am is are being past participle form past continuous tense was and where plus being plus past participle tense future has no passive form right so what we are going to learn today is an example i was watching a movie yesterday right i was watching a movie yesterday this is past continuous a movie was being watched by me yesterday right so what is it in present tense i am watching a movie now a movie is being watched by me now is present continuous past continuous is we saw that past continuous and the future continuous i will be watching a movie at this time tomorrow active voice is there and what will be the passive voice there is no passive voice for future continuous tense okay right now rule for present past future perfect tenses okay perfect tenses now present perfect tense what is the rule has have when it is singular you have to use has when it is plural you have to use have plus been plus past participle has or have plus been if it is continuous we are using being if it is perfect been okay past perfect tense had plus been plus past participle future perfect tense will or shall plus have been plus past participle so children make a note of these rules and regulations so that we will uh, con convert into passive voice very easily right has or have been past participle had been past participle will or shall have been past participle the perfect tense okay now we will uh, just go through the next example present perfect tense i have watched a movie today a movie has been see i have a movie is a third person singular so has so based on the subject Uh, you have to decide whether has or have should be used i have watched a movie today a movie has been watched by me today right so a uh, next is i have watched a movie that we saw present tense past tense now i had watched a movie 3 years ago past perfect tense i had watched a movie 3 years ago thank you dear children uh, time is up you we will continue in the next session dear and watch it carefully it is very important